Welcome to Basic Navigation in ICMS. This course will teach you the basics of navigating among the modules and features in the Interior Collection Management System. All of the information we'll cover in this course is also available in several other places. Chapter 1 of the ICMS User Manual covers system basics. All DOI units using ICMS should already have a copy of the manual. It is also available in PDF format on the Rediscovery FTP site ftp.rediscov.com forward slash ICMS. We strongly recommend you read Chapter 1 completely as you begin to use ICMS. Also, the online system help describes all the program's functions. What is ICMS? The Interior Collection Management System is used for managing museum collections of all DOI bureaus and offices and is required to account for DOI museum collections. With it, you can create a museum catalog to describe objects in your collection, you can document the acquisition of objects, which is called accessioning, and you can document activities such as loans to other institutions. There are tools in the program to help you conduct museum property inventories, document the condition of museum facilities, and count the number of items in your collection. If your job includes these sorts of tasks, ICMS is one of the tools you'll use. Let's get started. After login, you'll start at the home page. From the home page, you can go anywhere in the program. Some functions are available immediately from the home page. Others are available only when you're working with records in the database. One function available from anywhere is the system help. It includes a chapter on system basics. That chapter describes the parts of the screen and basic navigation. The index tab in system help is especially useful. If you can't remember what chapter contains the information you need, click on the index tab and enter the subject. For example, button bar. Now we'll learn about basic navigation. From the home page, you can go anywhere using the keyboard or the mouse or a combination. In the navigation pane, use the up and down arrow keys to select a module. Whatever is selected in the navigation pane appears on the home page. Some of you might find this similar to Windows Explorer. With cultural resources selected in the navigator, press tab to move to the home page. Press enter to open the catalog records. You can also click with the mouse. Note how the navigator is expanded to show all the associated modules, so you can easily get to accessions, exhibits, loans, etc. Catalog records is selected and you can use the up and down arrow keys to select a different module. You can also use the mouse. Click on the module you want to go to. You can also use the mouse to expand and contract the modules. Click the blue box to the left of each node. If the blue box has a plus sign, you can click it to expand it to see more options. If the blue box has a minus sign, you can click to close it. There are also options for tags and filters and other tools in the navigator. Now that we're in a module, let's look at the different parts of the screen. At the very top is the menu bar. Just below that, the button bar. We'll describe them in more detail in a moment. On the left is the navigation pane, which includes the navigator and the field help. You can stretch the navigator wider if you want to. At the very bottom is the status bar, showing the current mode, such as add, modify, view, etc., the number of records, and whether any tags or filters are active. Next is the list pane, showing the list of records. The list pane has several features. With Quick Sort, you can click on a column header to sort the data by that column. You can type in the column to go to a record. Quick Filter lets you select all of the records that match a term in the list. These features might be familiar to you if you use Excel. You can also stretch the list pane to make it bigger or smaller. Later, we'll show you how to add any field you want to the list pane. 
Finally, below the list pane is the record pane, the main catalog record. Now we'll go over the parts in detail. At the top is the menu bar. You can use the mouse or Alt and arrow keys to open and select from the menus. Functions are grouped together on menus based on similarity. For example, the file menu includes import export, which import or create files, load to an empty directory, which you'll use to load data from a file you receive from another unit or cooperator, and backup data, which you'll use for making backup files. You should use the backup data option to backup your data frequently, as often as you add or modify records in ICMS. You can make one backup file that includes all of your data. Cultural resources, natural history with all their submodules, archives, and management reports, which is where your automated checklist, facility condition checklist data lives. The edit menu includes functions for adding, modifying, copying, and deleting records. It also includes mass supplemental update for quickly linking catalog records with events such as loans and exhibits. Note that the function keys are also available, F9 to add a record, F10 to modify a record for example. Some of these edit functions are only available if you're in an editing mode, like undo, cut, copy, and paste and some are available only when you have selected specific records, as with a tag or filter. The View menu includes options for images and several options for changing the appearance of the screen. It also includes Go To for those who prefer navigating to other modules via the menu rather than the navigator. The Record menu includes things you can do with database records. You can sort them, by location, by accession number, etc. You can move to the next, previous, first and last records, F3, F4, F6, and F7 on your keyboard. You can select specific records using Get, F8, Search, and Filter. You can create and manage subsets of records, called tag sets. Also on the record menu are reports, which include rediscovery reports and quick report. The Tools menu includes several system management functions, such as creating and deleting directories and setting up new users for access to the program. These tools are covered in complete detail in the ICMS User Manual. And finally, the Help menu includes System Help, which we discussed at the beginning of this lesson. Now let's look at the Button Bar. All options on the Button Bar are also on the Menu Bar but the most frequently used options are on the button bar for convenience. If you hold your mouse over any button on the button bar, a tooltip will tell you what that button does. The back and forward buttons take you back to a previous screen or forward to one you visited before, similar to the back and forward buttons when you use the internet. The next three buttons let you toggle on and off the navigation pane, list pane, and record pane. Sort is next on the button bar. You can quickly change the sort order of the database by choosing one of the sort options. Note how the list pane changes to show the key field for that sort. The blue buttons with arrows let you move among the records, next, previous, first, and last. Note how the record pane and the list pane change to show the records as you move among them. The Get button is a key. Use it to get a record based on the current sort order. When sorted by catalog number, enter the whole number. When sorted by object name, enter the object name.
Quick Search is next on the button bar. Enter a word or phrase here and press Enter or click the blue arrow to search. The search results are shown to you right away. Note how the status bar at the bottom of the screen tells you how many records were found and that a tag is active. And note how the field that contains the word you searched for are highlighted. Advanced Search is next on the button bar. Also on the button bar are Advanced Filter and buttons for quickly activating and deactivating tags and filters. For example, we can click Deactivate Tag Set to return to viewing all of the records. Advanced Search and Advanced Filter are covered in detail in the Queries video lesson and in the ICMS User Manual. Next on the button bar, are buttons for adding and modifying a record and for copying a record and for refreshing the screen. Use the refresh button to see the updates another user has made while you're reviewing the same record or to see records that you just transferred into the database. Adding and modifying records are covered in detail in the data entry video lesson and in the ICMS user manual. Next on the button bar are several options for reports and printing. There are buttons to take you directly to Quick Report, or rediscover reports, such as the museum catalog card, list of objects, and other reports and forms available in ICMS. The full view button opens a window that shows all fields for the record, images, and supplemental data in a nicely formatted report. Note the Export Document button near the right end of the toolbar. You can save it as a PDF or other file types to send to someone via email. The Print Preview and Print List are next, easy ways to quickly print the contents of the list pane. The list pane will show the fields appropriate for the sort order or any other fields you choose, and these options let you easily print the list of records as you see it on the screen and like full view, you can save the report as a PDF file. Finally on the button bar are the lexicon, which this introductory course won't cover, and system help, which we've already covered. The buttons we just viewed are common to all modules in ICMS, catalog records, accession records, etc. There are three more buttons specific to the Archives module. Create Mark Records, View Hierarchical Browse, and Use Hierarchical Range. These three functions are described in detail in the Archives lesson and in the ICMS User Manual. Catalog records and other records in ICMS have tabs across the top to help organize the fields into separate pages. To move to the next page of a record, you can click the tab for Catalog or press Ctrl-N. Ctrl-N is for Next Page and Ctrl-R is for Previous Page. Ctrl-P is the DOS and Windows keyboard command for Print. One tab on the Catalog record is for Supplemental Information. This is history tracking data for past locations, statuses, values, etc. Some supplemental data, such as object status, are updated automatically any time a key field changes. Others, such as location, will prompt for the reason the location changed when you save a record after changing the location. Another tab on the catalog record is for images. You can view and attach images to catalog records. If you want to see the images alongside the record, from the View menu, choose Images View and then Dock Images tab. The docked image can be fixed in place or click the thumbtack button to hide it until you hold the mouse over the Images tab on the side.
There are just a few more things to show you in this course. In the Navigator, you can easily go to any associated module. For example, go to Accessions. Here you can add a new accession record, and then you can print a deed of gift and accession receiving report forms. Likewise, you can go to Loans Out to enter a loan record and print an outgoing loan agreement form. There are numerous reports and forms you can print, all from within the appropriate module. One module you may use is the Inventory. You can get to it from the Navigator or go to View, Go To menu option. To generate a new inventory sample, add a new record on the control screen. Enter your unit acronym, the fiscal year, and the directories to include in the inventory. Non-NPS units do not need to enter the highest catalog number or accession number. Then use the links to generate the inventory samples. Click Save and Close to save the control screen record. Then go to the Random Samples screen to print the inventory report. You can print the controlled property version of the inventory form from the controlled property page. Finally, you can select which fields you want to include in the list pane. This will help you use new features like a quick filter, quick sort, and print list with the fields you need. From the View menu, go to Update My List View. Here, you can select fields you want from the list on the left. The list on the right shows which fields you've selected. Click Save and Activate to show those fields in the list pane. That's all we have time for. Remember to use the system help and the ICMS user manual. If you need technical support for ICMS, contact Rediscovery at the phone or email shown on the help menu under About Rediscovery.